Good evening. Today we will be covering the post-market analysis dated the 1st of March 2023. Indian equity markets closed on a positive note today breaking its 8-day losing streak. Nifty opened slightly up around 17,360 and then went on to make a high of 17,467. After that markets remained stable. At the time of close Nifty closed around 17,450 which is a good sign. Similarly Sensex shed 449 points to give a closing of 59,411. Talking about sectors all the sectors ended in green with Nifty Metals emerging as top gainer with gains of 3.96%. Now, talking about the three stocks that have managed to be in gainers list today are Adani Enterprises, Hindalco, and UPL. Top three stocks mentioned above rose by 15.78%, 3.68% and 2.79% respectively. On the other hand, we will talk about those three stocks which ended as top losers. They are Britannia, Power Grid, and Sipla. They fell within the range of 2.42% to 4.67% respectively. For the corporate segment we have. India's largest telecom, Reliance Geo, will clock the fastest rollout of 5G services in the world, said Chairman Akash Ambani at a post-budget webinar of the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. Ambuja Cements bagged a coal mine in Maharashtra on the second day of the commercial mines auction on Tuesday. While Assam Mineral Development Corporation Limited emerged as the highest bidder for a coal block in Jharkhand, Sri Suchia Mines Private Limited bagged a coal block in the eastern state. Power Grid is declared as the successful bidder to establish interstate transmission system for establishment of Kavda pooling station, 3 in Kavda Re Park, on build, own operate and transfer basis. Subsidiary Tata Power Renewable Energy has approved the allotment of 20 crore compulsorily convertible preference shares at a face value of 100 rupees each, amounting to 2000 rupees crore on a preferential basis to Green Forest New Energy's Bidco. CMEC has entered into charter party with HAL Offshore for charter hire of vessel CMEC Paladin for ONGC contract for a period of five years. The charter rate is $35,000 per day for marine activities. Samvadana Motherson International has announced completion of purchase of assets of frame manufacturing and assembly operations of Daimler India commercial vehicles. Stovec Industries has recommended dividend of 47 rupees per share for the financial year ended December 2022. The dividend will be paid to the eligible members on or before its due date, if approved by the shareholders at the ensuing annual general meeting. For stocks to watch, we have Life Insurance Corporation looks good on current market price of 601.70. It can be bought at 600 rupees keeping target of 700 rupees with stop loss of 525. Torrent Power looks good on current market price of 506.55. It can be bought at 500 rupees keeping target of 620 rupees with stop loss of 435. Superhouse Limited in daily time frame is trading around 259.5 points with a change of 13.47% and is trading with a net volume of around 142,000 shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 238.15, which is a good indication for the investors. While, shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 69.59. An RSI of below 50 may indicate that the stock is in oversold region. Alok Industries Limited in daily time frame is trading at 14 points with a change of 12%, and is trading with a net volume of around 8.44 million shares. Shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 60.84. You can contact us from the details mentioned on the screen via a call, WhatsApp, or email. Thank you for listening the video to the end. Please do like, share, and subscribe the video for the latest updates in the market.